Ooh, oh, <laughs> that was so delayed. What's going on, everybody? How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I, like, stopped, waited for the live counter to go on, and, like, start counting before I did my intro. And I realized it was recording and not live. Yes, it's not like, you know, the sleep block threw me off or anything. Anyway, how are y'all doing? Let me know in the comment section below what's going on, what is happening during your time. Because this is a weird time, and honestly... I don't really know. So I'm kind of genuinely curious. Anyway, let's go ahead and do a team recap. As last episode, we had the saddest death that we've ever had in this series so far. I was so attached to our boy Chillin. And then Karaka decided that, you know, it's going to be the enemy of this Nuzlocke, apparently. So, unfortunately, we did end up losing Chillin. So we had to make some adjustments. We've got Jonas the Butterfree with Cut, Chatter, Fly, Mega Horn, Compound Ice and Ability. We've got... Oh my god. No wonder why Mega Horn doesn't miss. Oh, I'm so dumb. I literally have been freaking out about why like, Mega Horn missing basically this entire lock. And it's never missed. And I've always questioned why it hasn't missed. <laughs> because I'm like, John Luck isn't like that. There's no way. No, there is a way, John. It's literally 108% accurate. I would think that it would miss. Anyway. Then we got Beegers the God of War with the Synchronized Ability, Silver Wind, Work Up, Heal Order, Extra Sentry, Holding the Shell Ball for a little bit of extra health. Then we got Kevin, the Marvel Scale Choice Band Holding, Milotic with Surf, Pedal Dance, Flare Blitz, and Nine Slash. And honestly, Kevin's getting close enough to be not be needing to hold up the um, band, so I'm happy. And it's got the best nature it could possibly have being calm nature so let's go so hopefully i can get rid of this choice band and be all set we're actually like i said almost there then we got blue the super saiyan lucario with sacred sword meteor mash wake up slap and mirror shot with steadfast as an ability and we got kepson level 48 with coil rock or rolling kick venom shock and fire punch and lastly we got simon brown with bulk up flare blitz Blaze Kick and Sacred Sword. I was hoping it'd have Reckless as an ability. It unfortunately did not get the hidden ability, but that is a okay. Now, like I said, last episode we fought Aaron. We did a whole bunch of stuff. In this episode, it is the daytime for once. We're recording at a decent hour. Let's go. And so I'm curious. I think we're gonna get some encounters. I think this is a new route. Route 13. And it is indeed a new route. This is the route that I trained my Togekiss forever and ever and ever. I remember vividly, like, doing that. And this is back when I... Th oh! Ooh! Uh, Quagsire. Not great, but we'll take it. Um, Quagsire is definitely going to be a Mon that is going to be a very specially bulky. So that's going to be nice. Again, it's only weak to one type. We love Quagsire. It's a nice Mon. It's got Aqua Ring. So that is perfectly fine with me as we are going to go ahead and hopefully catch this thing very easily now that'll give us another water type but honestly and i hate to say this if our milotic somehow decides to die i think wall rain is going to be the better choice and as much as that pains me to say it's true because wall rain's got that ice typing it's got some coverage for them grass types it's not a bad mon wall rain i just it gets annoying um you know for me you know this is my least favorite mon but honestly if i somehow lose one of my favorite mons i guess that's a good punishment for me <laughs> but no wall rain is actually one of those good bulky offensive mons that i'll be able to utilize heavily if my melodic dies and like i said Cross my fingers that doesn't happen. We are going to go ahead and name this Daniel, though, after Papa's son. Oh, it's a female. Never mind. We're going to name this Cheyenne. Or just... I'm going to spell it wrong because I don't know actually how to spell her name. But Papa's going to be like, wow, you spelled that terribly. But that's okay. Um, we're going to do that. And we're going to continue our merry way with this as, you know, you never really know what, what could potentially lie, what could happen. I mean, like I said, it could be a very interesting experience in this next couple of days. So, we got level 47s. I don't even know what level, to be honest, I don't know what level 
I realistically needed to need to train to. But we're gonna pretend like I know what level I need to be at. So you know, you know, we definitely need to be at level level fifty six. Level fifty six sounds like a very good thing. I'm interested to see what happens if I take it down. Is it actually? Oh wow, yeah, it did. It turned down so many decibels. Like that's interesting. So it's like what it's doing is it's holding back what I'm saying. I'm gonna turn it back on though because again, we weren't really actually that much in the red as that is a swoobat which is kind of a little bit scary at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and... Um... Oof. And it's on par. So we literally trained on par, which is good. We did exactly what we wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and go to Kevin. Now, again, like I said, this might be a good time for me to finally get rid of the choice uh ban i mean choice specs would not be bad on my lotic either with the variety of moves that it has it's a again that literally creates that bulky offensive vibe that i was talking about being one of the better things so again that's something to consider something to think about but not something that is going to be the fact of the matter at the moment as we are going to go ahead and knock out this swoop out. We're going to have to start healing, though. Because, um, like I said, that's a little, that's a little nerve unnerving to me, honestly, that that's the case. But we got to live with what we got to live with here. And, and that's what we're doing. We're kind of living with what is needed. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's weird because I'm, like, forgetting where I am in the game. So, like, because we're back, we're in familiar territory. This is the final game that I've never played before. So, I mean, I've played Black 2, but I've never played Pokemon White 2. And I've only ran through Black 2 once. So, being in this weird state of, like, unfamiliar territory is just odd for me, especially when it comes to Pokemon. So, we're kind of going with whatever we can. We got it. Why do I feel like... Why do I feel like the Dream Ball is actually really amazing? Hold up. What is the Dream Ball in Pokemon? According to Pokemon Wiki fandom, the Dream Ball is a Pokeball introduced in Generation V that is only usable within the Dream World and Pokemon from the Dream Radar. The pattern of this ball is similar to Musharna. Oh, I didn't say it. Like the Master Ball in the Park Ball, it never fails to catch a Pokemon! We just got another Master Ball. What? Let's go! That's amazing. Okay, I'm going to run away, but... I like how repeated, I literally was letting Google shine. I was like, look at this, Google. You can go ahead and shine ahead, shine forward. And Google just didn't say the thing that it would result in shining forward. That's a master ball, bruh. Like, how in the world do I actually rationalize that? Like, bruh. So it's the park ball. Okay, so now, at least with that being said, and I know exactly what ma or what uh, generation uh, we're talking about. So Aaron, basically, ba we've been talking about Aaron a lot about the, these episodes, but that's okay. Um, basically, in Cage Lock, I ran across the Pokeball, and I was like, "What Pokeball is this?" And it was the Friend Ball. And I thought for some reason the Friend Ball was the ball that allowed you to like have 100% catch rate and like not have to worry about that. Well. It's the park ball. So now I feel great because, like, you know, I know that it's the park ball and not the, the other ball that I was thinking. A heel ball. Hey, we're getting all these pink balls today. I'm down for that. 100%. Oh, sh good job, John. Good job. You somehow managed to do that. <laughs> Literally, I feel like I did that in my... You know, first experience in the game. I probably did. And I still managed to figure out how to do that. So, anyway. 
Let's continue over this way, as there is no hidden items. That's fine by me. Um, we're trying to avoid trainer contact, you know? Gotta be six feet away from any trainer. Ah, 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 stay six feet away. You failed. You failed your one job. He failed to stay six feet away from me. Oh my god. Like, that's not okay. We all know that. <laughs> uh, anyway, cringy joke aside, uh, we're fighting a water type, which is just great because that's literally, we've already confirmed, the one type I legit can't handle. But we taught pedal dance. We finally have an actual, uh, that's a grass type move, but it's nice because it's on Kevin, so Kevin won't get destroyed by a water type anyway so we can actually pedal dance effectively it's a hundred ow geez i like just ripped my nail on accident just now which is always fun god why does everybody decide they want to live on one when they go against me like this is not okay like stop living on one please trainers i would appreciate it oh great we got the critical we got the critical hit when it was on one damage Literally, of course. Venomoth. Venom. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, oh my god, why the hell are we going against the Venomoth? Da, 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 da. Everything's fully evolved, John. Good job. You made it at level 40, and there are 47s now, so you should have rationalized that. But, dude, the thing I'm scared about, not gonna lie, is how extremely. Oh, for a second, I thought that actually gave me the ability I wanted. I missed. my first, Simon's first move, missed. <laughs> Good job, Simon. We really appreciate it. Bruh, can we just not? Bruh, you are Venomoth. You, I'm so lucky you are not a Quiver Dance Venomoth, but, like, you were literally a Venomoth. <laughs> Good job. You did your job. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, that's nerve-wracking. So, I'm also thinking about my next series, even though this is not even close to being done yet. Um, I thought that I was way closer since I was six badges in. No, 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 John. It's, you're, this is, there's a reason why I was a 27 hour experience. Um, so yeah. Oh, great. I, another water type. <laughs> Jeez. I'm, well, this one's part psychic though. This one's a water psychic type. So I should be fine mega horning. Or not. That didn't do that much, actually. I thought that was going to be way more. Hydro Pump from a Starmie, I'm kind of surprised it didn't do as much as it did. And again, living on one HP. We really appreciate that. Oh, I thought that was a... You aren't a physical attacker! What the... F what? How? Oh my god! Wait, what just happened? <laughs> oh my god! Wait! What? <laughs> I'm in shock! I don't know how that happened! Because... What? Okay, we already know we're going into Kevin. How did frustration do that much? One... Starmie ain't a physical attacker. By any means of the word. Two. Frustration does more damage the more angry the Pokemon is with its trainer. What? I'm literally naming this episode The Frustration is Killing Me. Because... <laughs> That was my longest standing team member, too, which is, I guess, another weird thing to think about. That but the Butterfree was my longest. No, Butterfree was not my longest standing team member. I don't have it organized the way I usually do. Uh, I, well, I said Beakers is my longest standing team member, I believe. But I'm still so confused. Like, I'm absolutely confused. Because... There should have been no way frustration should have killed me. 
But it kind of casually did. Quick law. Okay, that might actually be beneficial. We can go up across this bridge. Find another trainer. Let's go. I feel like I'm going the wrong way, but we're going to go along with it. I am still so... I'm going to think about this for, like, the entire rest of the day, by the way. I already know, so I should already just, you know... Okay, sorry, I responded to Aaron, um, because I was asking Aaron maybe if we could record Cage Lock or do something. Um, I'm st no, 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 no. This is not happening today. We are not losing Monster. Okay, that did how? What did it hit me with before? Because that did absolutely nothing, and that was an arrow blast. I am so lost today. Today's episode is the exemplification of John getting lost. Let's be honest. Like, I have never been so lost in an episode of Pokemon White 2 ever. But yet, today's the day where John's just going to get completely lost. But I am like, what the heck? Oh, my God. Oh, that's super effective. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? That was a crit! Oh my god! This is not good at all. This is a jump plus, and I just lost the second mon in today's episode. This episode is literally collapsing before my eyes. Like, what is going on in today's episode? I do not know, and I'm just, I gotta go with it. And that's the biggest thing about today, like, we just lost another fire type. We're going to have Walrein on the team, guys. Walrein's going on the team. Joy, today is the episode. Walrein gets to go on the team. Joy should be very happy about that. Also, I just realized I have Coil. And my only poison move is Venishock. Oh, my God. That's another crit. Can you stop, Jumpluff? I would really appreciate it. Oh, my God. Can we not? Oh, my God. That did nothing. Oh my god, this is not... A jump bluff is wrecking me from inside out right now. And this is not okay. Oh no. <laughs> this is what Patters was talking about. So I was watching an episode, and he was talking about Nuzlocke things. And he's like, if you have a team of sweepers, it's, like, not good. I have not had a bulky boy, except for finally we have one. And Kepson is going to be legitimately the play. 99.9% .9 of the time. <laughs> So Venishok does more if the poison it, or the person's damaged, which is great. I wish I had poison point, bruh. Poison point Venishok would be broken, but we don't have poison point, bruh. We've lost two months. We are down to four. Little did we know we were gonna go down to four. Okay, that was perfect. That was like the perfectly placed item. So I'm down. Um. This is crazy. Dude, Jonas died, guys. Like, that's not really very surprising, considering that it's a Butterfree. But, he's been on the team for super long. About as long as Chillin was. So that's kind of a hurtful death as well. Because it's one of those mons that you're like, oh wow, a Butterfree's actually been, you know, holding its own, doing its thing. And then it's dead. And it's like, oh, well, okay. So today's episode has been the most roller coaster like episode that I've ever had because Okay, we're still going. We got we got a Master Ball. And then we lost Jonas. 
And then... We... Continued going down this path. We thought, I thought I found a way, and we didn't. Then we lost Simon. And then... Continuing the path, we, like, continued going through our things. Oh, do I need... I, I'm interested. I'm wondering if strength is actually officially necessary at this point. We got a Quagsire. So we got Greg, even though we didn't name it Greg. We named it Cheyenne. Um, oh my god, I could have literally just done that the entire time. Oh, shoot! Jonas's final act is going to be cutting so that we can get, hopefully, the Wild Legendary. No, wait. Oh my god. Is that really Jonas's final act? Bro, it is! No way! Oh! Jonas's final act is to get us a Moltres. This is crazy. Okay. That is such an insane final act that Jonas could ever have. And we're going to go ahead and dream ball it. Because never in Jonas's dreams did he think he was going to die to get his direct counter. And if this doesn't work, I'm going to be mad. What? It literally said it was a Master Ball. I'm genuinely upset right now. I'm still Master Balling it. It's a freaking Moltres. And it's going to be great for our team. It literally told me that it was a Master Ball. What is the Dream Ball in Pokemon? According to Pokemon Wiki, Fandom, the Dream Ball is a Pokeball introduced in Generation V that is only usable within the Dream World in Pokemon. Oh. The pattern of this ball is similar to Musharna. It's only able to be used in the Dream World. But still, it literally says, like a Master Ball, it never fails to catch a Pokemon. <clears throat> That's upsetting. I thought we had two Master Balls, but apparently we don't, because apparently it does fail to catch Pokemon if you're not in the dream world. But anyway, so... We're going to name this Dream because we're using this, by the way. It's level 45, so it's like literally already on par with everything else. Why do I feel like one of, that one up top just doesn't feel right? It just, it really doesn't. So, like, I couldn't get away. Why couldn't I run away? There we go. I, like I said, this doesn't, that seems like a trap. It's not. It's a rare candy. Okay, we'll take it. <laughs> Extra rare candies are always nice. <laughs> like I said, it felt weird, but I got—I have to go for it anyway. Boom, 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 boom. And we are going to go ahead. Oh, shoot. Okay, we got it talking. Hi there, John. I used Fly, so it looks like I beat you here. Thanks for your help at Reversal Mountain. Thanks. It's almost like I can't use Fly. Until I walk to places. If you go straight past Lucanosa Town, you'll reach Oblucid City. But before you go, there's something I want you to hear. You'll know soon enough. Hurry now. Wait, what? There's something that I want you to hear. But you'll know soon enough. So let's hurry somewhere else now. Bruh. Oh, okay. She's telling... Juniper doesn't know. 
but we have to go through the cutscene. Because Jupiter said that there's something that she needed me to hear, but she didn't say it was directly, oh, we're talking about the giant chasm. I don't remember what this is, to be honest. Temperature reading is negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit? Oh, no, hell no. Oh, Sharon told you? I don't believe him. Giant chasm is created with a big meteorite fell from the sky. It is really scary, and a Pokemon was hidden inside that meteorite. When the darkness falls over the land, the Pokemon appears, and frigid wind will follow it. Oh, this is about Kiram, I feel like. Why do I feel like this is totally Kiram? Um, our ancestors surrounded the town with the walls to prevent the Pokemon from getting inside in the town. Also, a rule was made forbidding anyone to go outside after the dark, and it was by the end of that old tale. A fascinating story. Ah, that's in my research records. Wow, I don't really care about that, Juniper. You literally told me nothing. I appreciate it. Thanks for literally telling me nothing and making it sound like it was important. Yes, I remember the story of Reshiram. It's not like Reshiram is literally my... Wait, no, uh, uh, that would have been a lie. Zekrom was my first ever shiny Pokemon. And I did that in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Uh, in my Ultra Moon Randomizer Nuzlocke, right, there, I was training Dawn Fan, funny enough. Uh, or no, I was no, I was not training Dawn Fan. I was training my Mega Alakazam, because I didn't realize that I boosted the levels 25%. Like an idiot. Um, so, I'm training up, because I'm like, wow, the levels are really high over here. Like, I have to be in the level 63s to even do anything. Like, this is kind of crazy. And like I said, little did I know, that I boosted 25%. They're not going to let me. Oh, they are going to let me walk. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. A wave of incense. Okay. I should probably... S yeah. Before I start the next episode, I'm going to sell a ton of stuff because... I don't know why in the world I have so much stuff, but I totally do. So, yeah. So, anyway. So, I boosted levels. Oh, wait. That was a Pokeball. That was a Pokeball sitting there. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me grab it. I don't know why there's a Pokeball sitting here. A pass orb. I've never heard of that item before. Probably is trash if I haven't heard of it. But so yeah, so I legitimately found a shiny Reshiram while I was training. Or uh, not Reshiram, Zekrom. And I was like, I saw the star and I was like, oh my god, it's a shiny. And mind you, this is like two in the morning because your boy John actually grinded every single Pokemon up. Now John is lazy and knows how to hack and wear candies and doesn't train up half the time. So, <laughs> being transparent. So, anyway, that's why, I don't know if you see me when I'm grinding in, like, Pokemon games. I'm like, oh my god, am I really grinding right now? Because I know how to fix that and I know how to make it super fast. But yeah, so that happens. And I didn't know what it was. I didn't know if it was a shiny or not. And then I realized it was. And I just caught it j I, with the Master Ball. Because, of course, you Master Ball your shiny legendaries. You don't want them to go away. And it had Plasma Fist, Dual Chop, Thunder, and and some other move that was, like, insane. I was like, did this just happen? And again, and then I noticed it was green. And I, I had never played through a poke I played through Pokemon Black and Pokemon Black gave you Reshiram. So I did not know whether or not it was a shiny until I saw the little star like saying that, oh yeah, by the way, you did just catch a shiny Pokemon. I was like, oh my god, how is that even possible? Like saying like I said, never knew. I thought it looked weird because it was green and not blue, but I didn't know. So that was like probably the best shiny experience that I've ever had because again it was my first one. But on that random topic conversation note, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Tomorrow's episode, we'll get a lot of encounters. We'll do a lot of stuff. And I think we're going to have a great day. And I know that during this, you guys will have great days too. Peace out.